today we're going to look at the deltoid muscle. Now, this is a large triangle-shaped muscle that covers the shoulder. It's named after the Greek letter delta because of its triangle shape. Now, the deltoid is responsible for giving your shoulders its rounded appearance, and it plays a really important role in moving your arm. So let's look at the key functions of the deltoid muscle. So the deltoid muscle is the main muscle used to lift your arm, whether you're raising your arm out to the side, so abduction, ABD, to the front, flexion, or to the back, extension. The deltoid is working hard to make those movements happen. Now, the deltoid also helps keep your shoulders stable, especially when you're holding something heavy or when your arm is outstretched. The deltoid muscle is divided into three parts or heads, each contributing to different arm movements. So you have the anterior aspect of the deltoid, so the front of it. Now, this part helps lift your arm forward, like when you reach out to shake someone's hand. You have the lateral head, so the middle head, and this part helps lift your arm out to the side, like when you do a jumping jack or a star jump motion. Then you have the posterior, so the back head. This part helps lift your arm backwards, like when you pull something behind you. The deltoid muscle is the only muscle in the human body that's an agonist and antagonist to itself. As we already said, the deltoid muscle has three distinct parts each with its own origin, and they all come together and have a common insertion point. So if we look at the origins of the anterior head, so the origin for this is the lateral third of the clavicle. The lateral head, the origin is the acromion process of the scapula, and the posterior head, the origin is the spinous scapula. Now, all three heads of the deltoid muscle insert at the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. Now, this insertion point is v, a V-shaped area. It's about halfway down the humerus where the deltoid muscle attaches, and it allows it to effectively lift and move the arm in various directions. Now, as we know, anatomy is there's a lot of information to learn. So how do you remember the three origins of the deltoid muscle? Now, the insertion is easy because there's only one insertion and it links to the name of the muscle, so the deltoid tuberosity. But as we know, there are three heads and there are three different origins. Now, you can remember this as the acronym CAP because it's a cap on the shoulder. Now, C is for clavicle, where the anterior um, head will sit. A is for acromion, where the lateral head will sit, and P for the posterior um, of the scapula, so the spinous scapula, and that is where the posterior head will sit.